many people around the Northland rejoiced when they heard our meteorologists talk about 60 degree days in the forecast. But with the beautiful temperatures comes a large risk for flooding as a result of melting. Northern News Now's meteorologist Hunter McCullough has the details. That's right, Kendall. And I spoke to a meteorologist who was part of the hydrology team at the National Weather Service in Duluth, and they talked about the potential for some flooding this spring. Duluth has officially been through the third snowiest winter ever recorded, and there's no telling whether we're done with snowfall just yet. We saw the snowiest December ever recorded. We saw the third snowiest March ever recorded. Spooner saw their third snowiest winter ever with 93.9 inches. Bayfield crushed their previous record with the snowiest winter ever on record by over 10 inches. A wide open Lake Superior provided plenty of moisture to provide up to 50 inches of snowpack for the North and the South Shore. But you don't need me to tell you that it's been unusually snowy this year. It's almost impossible to go out in public anymore as a meteorologist without hearing some comments about this year's snow. And now it's springtime. And with a large warm-up in the forecast, it's time to prepare for flooding. Ketzel Levens is a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Duluth who is also part of the hydrology team. Can you kind of speak to how unusual it is to have like most of our snowpack still on the ground and what that means for the flood outlook? Yeah, it's extremely unusual to have just this much snow on the ground, let alone how much snow we've had through the entire season. In fact, Duluth is currently in third place for the most snow to ever be on the ground in April at nearly three feet at the beginning of the month. The amount of snow throughout the Northland contains between four and 13 inches of liquid water. It all has to go somewhere, and many lakes, streams, and rivers could begin to rapidly rise this week. And so if you take an average of seven to nine inches of liquid in the snowpack, if it was to melt in two weeks, in 14 days, that would be the equivalent of having a half to one inch of rain every single day. There are still a lot of variables in play when it comes to springtime flooding. The biggest factor in our risk over the next two months will be our daily weather. Unfortunately, our best opportunity for seeing low flood risk may have already passed. And to be completely honest with you, the best case scenario would have already happened. So the best case scenario would have been we would have had a slow melt through March. In Duluth, Hunter McCullough, Northern News Now.